Hi, I'm Mary Lynn Ryan, a senior risk management consultant at ProAssurance. When we think about medical ethics, we may automatically believe there are two possible options, right and wrong. Yet, in practice, the goal is finding the most reasonable solution based on the totality of the circumstances. Aspects of patient safety, liability, risk management, and clinical ethics overlap in that they involve scrutinizing difficult situations occurring during a patient's healthcare encounter. Improving the patient's experience and well being is a means for reducing overall risk. The four basic principles of medical ethics can clarify ethical problems and help resolve them. Beneficence describes the concept of acting for the patient's good. Non-maleficence describes the concept of doing no harm. Autonomy conveys the idea that each patient has a right to voice their own values and choices about care. Justice expresses the idea that healthcare resources should be equitably distributed among patients and that patients should be treated fairly. We often think of clinical ethics in terms of life and death issues, but ethics is a part of most everyday physician-patient interactions. For example, consider the internist who diagnoses cellulitis in a patient's lower left leg and prescribes an oral antibiotic. This interaction illustrates the principle of beneficence. In other words, the physician acts in the best interest of the patient. If, however, the patient refuses to take the antibiotic and will only agree to non-medicinal therapies, such as elevation, immobilization, and saline dressings for her leg, the principle of autonomy becomes prominent. In trying to respect the patient's autonomy, the physician would agree to treatment they think is less effective, thus subjugating the principle of beneficence. To determine the best way forward, the physician must reduce the tension between the principles of autonomy and beneficence, never losing sight of the standard of care. Adding risk reduction and patient safety strategies to the ethical analysis can inform next steps. Reasonably resolving a care issue involving conflict between beneficence and autonomy requires patient engagement. It's important to walk the patient through a weighing of the potential harms and benefits of both treatment paths. Coming to a mutual understanding may require reframing information about the preferred treatment plan to help the patient better understand the benefits of the recommended treatment. Sometimes, referring the patient to a colleague for a second opinion can help resolve the conflict. Documenting the rationale for your treatment recommendations and the details of your efforts to educate the patient about the risks of declining your recommended treatment can improve the defensibility of liability claims should they arise in the event of a complication.